Let's welcome our next uh, presenter, Dr. Ban Ku from the Cindy Kimmel Medical College at Thomas Jefferson University in Philadelphia. Hi, I'll be speaking about how we are using design thinking to create the doctor of the future. So I run a design program at my med school in Philadelphia, and uh, this is what one of our typical design workshops look like. Uh, a lot, that's my colleague right there on the backboard. So it looks a lot different from a normal classroom experience. And I think most of us in this room would say the healthcare system is broken, right? But, but who's to blame? I think we doctors we like to blame everybody else, right? The government, big pharma, malpractice attorneys. But I think we should share some of that responsibility, right? Maybe we're partly to blame. Maybe we're not creating uh, doctors like we should. Our recipe for making doctors is over 100 years old. It's based on the uh, Flexner Report. And so we put students in these uh, large lecture halls, and just like we did over 100 years ago, except now they have laptops, and they're probably checking their Facebook and Twitter account right now. I, but I really think creativity will help doctors innovate and handle complexity. Uh, there's this misconception that r logic and rational thinking alone will make good doctors. But you know, we don't really associate creativity with med school, right? It's uh, chefs or musicians or actors are the ones who are creative in our society. So how do we bring creativity to medicine? So we started a design program, the first of its kind for a med medical school in the US, and we invited designers, uh, like that guy with skinny jeans and a plaid shirt back there to facilitate our workshops. And we meet in these open spaces uh, with whiteboards and a lot of sticky notes. Uh, but you know, doctors don't think like designers. For example, we don't prototype fast. And this exercise uh, took our medical students over five minutes to start constructing. And uh, designers in uh, college you know, start prototyping within 30 seconds. And also, doctors uh, don't really understand uh, design. I get a lot of funny looks from my colleagues when I tell them I'm teaching uh, design to uh, medical students. Uh, most of my colleagues think that design is making stuff uh, look nice. So part of our challenge has been you know, to really um, support design in medical education with really concrete examples. So we run these workshops where we apply design thinking to solve real healthcare problems. This fall, we're taking a deep dive in how do we um, redesign the acute care system. So we uh, went on the streets of Philadelphia and we con conducted interviews with uh, people and asked them about their most recent experience when they got sick. And we wrote our observations on sticky notes and organized them around common themes. So this methodology um, is unlike how we normally approach uh, solutions. You know, normally uh, we put the doctor's perspective first, then we, then we include the patient's perspective afterwards. And to really get an, a better understanding of the patient, we developed these really cool personas and they represent archetypes of people and they access uh, the healthcare system, then we create an ecosystem map uh, to help us understand the patient's journey through the healthcare system. And, and we get to draw some pretty cool cartoons in med school. Uh, so let's look at some examples of how uh, design thinking has impacted our students. Uh, last summer, Ludwig uh, spent um, his, some time uh, in remote Panama, and he is uh, working on a nebulizer device that was uh, developed by MIT's uh, Little Devices Lab. So he went through implementation and iteration when he was there of that device. Another student, Graham, that's him on the uh, operating room table. Um, and he created his uh, first prototype on this doll, actually. And then from there, uh, with the help of a dressmaker, he uh, designed a wrap to use on himself. And the goal is to help pa patients uh, not fall off the operating room table. Uh, we also uh, used this uh, do-it-yourself device uh, made from an electric wok and a vacuum cleaner and some Legos. And um, we, had, we will have our students co-create with patients uh, customizable um, pill packs. So we think that the process of co-creating with patients will increase uh, medication adherence. Uh, here, um, students tackled uh, the problem of medication reconciliation in the ER. So they partner with designers and pharmacists and nurses, and they mocked up a uh, smartphone app. So I, I think human-centered design really enables our students to see challenges in healthcare, not as these uh, intractable problems, but as opportunities to create solutions. And 
I'm really optimistic that patients will ultimately be the ones that benefit. Thanks.